Hey, Flutter enthusiasts, welcome back to Widget Wisdom. Today we are going to learn about List View and List View Builder in Flutter. In Flutter, List View allows us to create scrollable lists of widgets. Whether we're displaying a simple list of text, or a complex list of custom widgets, Flutter's List View make it all possible very quickly. In Flutter, List View is a scrollable list of widgets in Flutter. It is commonly used to display a vertically or horizontally scrolling list of children. This widget automatically scrolls when the content is larger than the screen. So let's start our this video, and before starting, if you want the code or written tutorial then I'll provide the link in the description. So you can find all the code and its explanation there. And if you like these video then please support me at Patreon. So that I can continue making these videos. So let's start. So here, I've created this list view in Flutter class. And I've call our this class from my app. So let's come to our list view in Flutter class. So here, I'm having a scaffold widget, and inside it I've created an app bar. So now let's create the body for this class. Now for body let's create a list view widget. And inside list view it want a list of children. Because our list view is going to show same kind of UI. So here create a list tile, and inside list tile, give it a leading icon as person icon, because we are going to show a list of user. Now for our list tile give it some padding, so that, our items have some space. So here I'm giving it a padding of 6. Now here create a title. So for the title, I'm using a text widget and inside it I'm writing user1. Now let's give our list tile a background color. Here I'm using gray color with shade of 200. And now we are having some error. So yeah, this error is coming because we have defined our children as constant, and when our changing color of our widget it's no more constant. So let's remove this const from here, and now our error has gone. Now save the program. And as you can see we are having one element in our screen, with a icon and text, with a gray background color. Let's make our color a bit darker, so I'm using shade of gray as 400. So now again save the code. It's now a bit darker. Now let's copy and paste this list tile widget, two more time, with different text as user2 and user3, now again save the program, so we are having two more tile in our list view. So now you may ask how we will separate these items, so for doing that there are two ways. One you can give margin to our list tile or you can add a sized box widget between them. So here I've added a sized box between these two tile, and now our these two item is separated from each other. Now let's create a list view builder. So for doing that, let's remove all these list view code from here. And here create a new widget as list view dot builder. Our list view builder is going to take one parameter which is item builder. Our item builder is responsible to creating the UI of our item. So let's create our item, so for doing that come into the item builder, and item builder is going to take two parameters. One is very obvious, context, and another is index. Now from inside these curly braces, return a list tile, with same UI with a leading icon and a title. Our title stating person with its index. Now let's run the code and we have some error. And we have this error because I forget to add semicolon for this return statement. So here add semicolon and again save the program. And now our list view created with the hundreds of list tile. Because we haven't specified any count for the our list view. So it will render a tons of element. To fix this issue, inside our list view dot builder, specify the item count. Here I've given item count as 10. Now save the program again and as you can see we have 10 items in our list view. Now if you want your list tile to touchable then, you can do that by two way. One you can wrap your list tile inside a gesture detector or you can use on tap callback of the list tile. So let's make our list tile to change its color when tapped onto this. So I've wrapped my list tile widget with a gesture detector widget and Inside it I've an empty on tap callback. Now come above here, and create an list of boolean as is selected, 
and fill this list element with the false value. Because initially in our list view nothing is selected. And our is selected list going to have 10 items because we showing only 10 items in our list tile. Now come inside this list tile and here inside this on tap callback of our gesture detector, reverse the value on that particular index on which we will tap. Now wrap this inside set state, because, we our UI wants to get notified whenever this value is going to change. Our UI needs to rebuild. Now inside list tiles tile color property assign the color with a condition. That if current indexes is selected value is true then we want to show tile color as gray or else this white default color and now save the program, and as you can see whenever, I'm tapping on this list tile it's changing its color. And that's all you need to know about the list tile widget. If you like this video, then please, like, share and subscribe with your fellow coders. Thank you. And have a good day.